Greetings, Commanders, and welcome to this video. I'm your host, Mimi. Today, I'm here with a special guest. This time, we will introduce the development process of another action time and an original character, Noah. Just like last time, I have a list of interesting questions for our project manager, G. So let's start. Hello again, G, and thank you for joining us. Hi, Mimi. Um, it's really good to see you again. And uh, hi, everyone. It's G again. Let's start the interview. First, we will talk about Noah's birth story, name, and personality. Noah is another Action Time and an original character. How was Noah born? We know players want more diversity in games. In our game, a diverse background is considered an important component in character design. For that purpose, there are characters like Su Jinlei from the Chinese Union and Emily Simmons from the UFS. At the time, we had Noah from the Demon Realm, and that's naturally where the idea for our new character began. Why is her name Noah? Um, some of you may have guessed the name Noah is related to the prominent biblical figure. And yes, that's correct. Not only was a birth as extraordinary as the story of Noah's Ark, but Noah is also made out of the various powerful demon cells. And you know, like the other Noah had two of every kind of animals on the Ark. And you guys will see that point too. Is her personality based on something or someone particular? No, it isn't based on anything in particular. If you think about main characters from popular games, it seems like there is a certain role for their looks. But when Noah was created, we only consider the image of a doll which has nothing inside but an empty soul, so that it can grow by filling the void. It's described that Noah doesn't feel any emotions, no sorrow, joy, etc. If Noah could feel just one emotion, what do you think it would be? There could be curiosity. If you look at her birth and background, she lacks in a lot of ways. Noah herself knows her very well, and that's why she shows her interest in anything new to her. Next, let's hear Noah's backstory about how she became a part of the Time Marine Task Force. What's Noah's relationship with Astaroth, and how did it begin? It's nothing more than a business relationship. Edwin ordered Noah to go there. He and Astaroth has a mutual beneficial relationship. In addition, Astaroth's more interested in Noah's capability than in Noah's herself. Simple as that. And at the end of Noah's missions, we believe that she went back on a boat prepared by Nomad. And from her perspective, everything was done as planned. Nothing special, which is boring to her. Maybe the only thing she found quite amusing was the beautiful scenery of Akotrala Island, I guess? Why did you betray Nomad and become part of the task force? We can say the bento box from Fuma touched her empty heart. Although Noah had nowhere to go after she thought she was abandoned by her creator, Fuma was interesting enough for the fact that he was the first person to show Noah as a small act of sharing. For a person like Noah, who's never ever been treated like a real human being, regardless of her human-like appearance, it's easily made a long to be part of Fuma's group. Plus, the bento box made with the Tokiko slurp is the best thing ever to Noah for sure. Let's have a lighter question. What's Noah's favorite food? As I just said before, Noah's favorite food is a lunchbox made with love and especially by Tokiko. She may look unimpressed, but the fact is, Noah's inwardly pleased. Well, I think we all guessed what Noah's favorite food is. Now we'll discuss Noah's weapon and skills. Personally, I originally thought that Noah's weapon would be her demon arm. Let's hear G's answer. How were her skills and weapon decided? Noah is a demonic creature composed of cells with more than one distinct genotype, like the so-called Chimera, which is able to transform parts of its own body. Having said that, because of the low energy efficiency that leads to severe hunger, she can't sustain the transformation long enough in battle. In any case, we needed to come up with something else as a weapon, with her other abilities to reprogram DNA and to transform other beings. We thought Noah would manipulate the monster's DNA to transform them into a weapon. That's simply the backstory of the weapon design. Noah's ultimate is interesting. She becomes considerably bigger during her ultimate. What was the idea behind this? 
to emphasize the ability to shape shift, instead of changing parts of her body, her whole body becomes bigger in the ultimate scales, which is much more dramatic. We've talked before about the challenges of conceptualizing a character, but what really goes into the process of turning a simple sketch into a 3D animated character inside Action Timonin? Let's move on to Noah's concept art and 3D model creation process. Where does her concept come from? Why does she look like a little girl? Um, well, it's because there are only few time and characters with blank faces. The reason why she looks like a little girl or doll is because the image of a young girl and doll implies the possibility of a growth by filling the void. As for transferring the concept art from a sketch to a 3D model, please explain simply how it is done. Before we start, there are multiple different ways to create a 3D character. Just know that, that I will touch on only one way of doing so. I will start with a concept art. Concept art is a visual representation, giving an idea of a certain look. Here are a few drafts for Noah before we decide the best for the character. However, concept art does not always tell in detail how the final result should look like. In most cases of a 3D modeling, such as a complex gaming character, a visualizer plan of a model called Model Sheet is used, which provides the patterns for all sides of a 3D model, could be called Turnaround Sheet. Having received the Model Sheet, a character artist projects the image at the back of the workspace, starting with a base mesh, resizing its size, and adding more subdivision to fit in the patterns on the sheet. Let's say we are done with the modeling part. At this stage, to color the model we made, it's necessary to transfer the 3D dimensional model to a plan surface. This is a brief moment of unwrapping. Finally, the fun part begins. All the characters we've made only use one texture called Diffuse Math, which means all the shaders, reflections, and highlights must be painted by hand. Depending on the character artist's working preference, the texture could be painted in Photoshop or a program called Body Painter. Ta-da! This is the final result of Noah in the kimono costume. Looking awesome! Wow, that was a lot of technical information. As you can see, there are several steps just in the 3D modeling process. For the final question, we asked what was the hardest part in the process of creating Noah? The tone was the most challenging, whether Noah should just be pessimistic like a doll, or if she should present her demonical aggression, or express her own thoughts even though she stammered a bit, or if she should remain reserved. Sometimes we still think of the other options we could have taken, and imagine what Noah would be like if he had chosen something else. Thank you for the interview, G. Ah, thank you for having me, it was a fun time again. In this video, we showed the development process of Noah. We have a similar video about another action time and an original character, Emily Simmons. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to go check it out. Thank you to all our viewers for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!